This is what we should seek from Buddhism. Only then can we be happy. To do that, to achieve that, we need to start following Buddha's teachings, his education. However, if we treat Buddhism as a religion, a dogmatic approach, we can never achieve right awakening, which brings us towards the ultimate happiness. And that means we cannot stop suffering because we are still lost. Religion itself, the nature of religious worshipping is being lost. Call it superstitious in a way. Why is it superstitious? Emotion is the basis of religion. In English, there's two words, emotion and sensibility. Emotion, in other words, is called blind faith. Buddhism does not encourage blind faith. It encourages <laughs> rational, clear, precise thinking. Some religions use blind faith as a tight leash on its worshippers. And the more devoted you are to that emotion, we call them the more truly devoted, sincere worshippers. The more lost you are, the better it is. They are labeled as devoted and there is a leash so that you can't escape. If you look at some religions, there are a lot of evangelists that try to woo disciples into their congregation as part of that religion that uses this evangelist approach. They use that mindset to get students and then there are cases where it's very well known if you don't believe in me, you go to hell. There are religions that always use this kind of an approach, using a leash on the people. They feel obligated to pray and worship every day and to give donations to them. This is a common problem among religions nowadays. I'm real, you're fake, holier than thou. But to be honest, at the end of the day, none of them knows what is happening. None of them solve the real problems. Hence, it is fake. Buddhism is never like that. Buddhism is not about followers. How many people come and follow me? Why? Because it's all about education. Education is about teachers and students, disciples and masters. There's a very important phrase, there's only disciples who seek answers from the master. Never heard of a master who asks for a student to teach. What does it mean? We'll talk about it in the next session. Only students seek answers from masters, so seek teachings from the teacher. A teacher should not come to you and tell you to learn from him. Going back to the point, we need to start with right awakening. To be rightly awakened, we need to have a pure heart. We need to learn the practice of purifying our hearts. Without a pure heart, everything you learn in Buddhism is just planting a seed of Buddhism for the future. It does not have an immediate effect on your current condition. It will not be used to help you to elevate your current condition. Therefore, Shakyamuni Buddha's appearance in this world is just to help you to liberate from suffering. And the first level you have to go through is life and death. And to liberate from life and death, you need to start with right awakening. To start from right awakening, you use your pure heart. In our terms, we use Amitabha Buddha's name to cultivate our pure heart. This is a very simple overview on what we should seek in Buddhism. Next session, I look forward to learning more with you about Buddhism, understanding Buddhism. I would also like to announce that this Friday, I will also practice talking about the original vows of Kasidigarbha Bodhisattva, Di Zang. In the evening around 8 p.m., we will have a session on this sutra and we'll dedicate our merits together after that. 
So now back to understanding Buddhism. That's it for today. I hope everyone can cultivate their pure heart. Put in the effort because the only person who benefits from doing this is yourself.